you ready? Okay, too bad because it's gone. Even my cookie says no, so look, no. Hello, welcome to Straw Family Farm. I'm Christy. I'm me. Alright, let's get started Ask with our it snacks shall be first. Given. Wait, wait, I have a snack. You don't have a snack? Over yes, here. I do. I have, I have a, a snack. No, I'm not doing that. I am going to share what I'm drinking. And it's called Blue Parachute. And this is a Moscato, and it tastes just like grapes off the vine, I'm telling you. Hey, Carl and Wilbur, knock it off. So, and you are drinking what? Pepsi and cookies, Mountain Dew. Asking it shall be given to you. Hey, we're not there Seeking yet. Seeking you will find. Son, what day are we podcasting on? Saturday night. It's Saturday night. Um, we're not doing it Sunday because he's got to work and I don't want to do it alone. And we've had just kind of a farmy kind of day. And this is going to be kind of a different podcast. We're actually going to take you outside a little bit um, and do like we used to do, just so people can see. We've got a bunch of new viewers. So we'll take you outside and let you see around a little bit and see some of the animals and that kind of stuff, right? All right. In the church. Go That's for it. Church. In the chapel. It's this segment. Now go. Oh. Matthew 7-7. Seven, seven. Okay. Ask and it shall be given to you. Seek and ye, ye shall find. Knock and it shall be opened unto you. All right. And what are we talking about here? Um, answered prayers pretty much. Yes. Um, we're basing that scripture on our prayers being answered. So let's move right into in the barn stalls. What went on with Wilbur? Outside. Well, we're going to, but let's talk about Wilbur and Carl first. What happened with them? They got sick. Very sick. Um, and they ended up with distemper. There is no cure, right? So it's kind of a gamble. We put out several call for prayers, and our prayer warriors stepped up. We have several people that um, make it known that any time we put out a call for prayer, they step up. Um, it's just something, they're one of the first to like it, heart it, send a little praying hands, answer with prayers, done, sent, you know. And it's, we have a small little group of us that just walk together in an agreement that the animals of the farm are our priority. So, um, Carl got sick and he got very much better very fast. Wilbur didn't, did he? Nope. How long has he taken to recover? A week. And it was more than a phone call to the vet. It was an actual trip over to the vet. He had to do a fecal, uh, Yep. Yeah, to figure out what's going on, and finally it came back distemper. So um, when we got the puppies, we weren't really thinking, let's get them vaccinated. They were full of worms, and on a weakened immune system, you actually can give them the disease by giving them their shots. So we wormed them, wanted to get a little bit of weight on them. We decided to wait until they were about six months, and then we could get probably their rabies and their stuff all at once. That, how'd that work for us? Not very good. Not very good. So one of the shots that you give at eight weeks and then boost is distemper. But because they were so full of worms and yucky and nasty, getting them healthy was our first priority. And, uh, yeah, kind of bit us in the rear. So lesson learned, but hopefully we won't ever have to worry about that again, will we? All right. Will work. Ask me a yes no question. Okay. So, you ready to take them outside? Ask me a yes no question. Are you ready to take them outside? Oh, maybe. <laughs> I ask him a yes no question and what does he do to me? <laughs> ask me a yes no question. <laughs> maybe. Uh, See. Alright, so we also took you out and filmed a couple of segments. The first segment is about the goats and we'll cut that in right here, correct? Maybe. Hi guys. In the barn stall. Well, let's say we're doing no, something we're a little. In the front yard. Well, we're doing things just a little bit different today to give you an outside view, right? Literally. And we don't know if the the wind is going to do this or not. This over here is my hand, so I'm trying to block wind. All right. So what are we doing outside? What is this? Um, this is the goats. They're out breeding right now. That's right. Way. There's Matthew. 
Holly, Layton, and Sweetie. Who are these guys here in the front? These are all the ducks that hatch. Yeah, they're, they're getting, getting big. big. <laughs> Who are those little things way over there? Those are a few of the baby chicks we have some more in the barn. All right, let's go in the barn while the train goes through. Okay. Okay, so this is where we had to move the nest because it was in the hay barn. RJ, can you stir them up so they can see? She, it's too dark down there for me to do the camera. Um, Anyone. She's really sweet. She must be one of the old show hands, huh? Or two. I got two. There we go. We got little baby be peeps. I used to call them beans, but they're peeps. But she's an old show hen. Don't me. So the worst she does is peck when you put them back. She, she's really sweet. It's not really even a... She needs your own blood. I know. She just lets you know that she doesn't like that. So how many does she have under there? I don't think you can see know. them. I haven't counted them. There's like six or seven. Some of them haven't hatched, so we'll have she to go keeps dispose. some of them underneath the... Uh, all the time. Yeah. Okay. So... Cat blue wants in. Let's go do the, the cattle. Hi. Hey. She wants in the podcast. Okay. So who is this? Cat Blue. And she She's wants in the podcast. podcast. She wants in the podcast or she wants in the barn? She just wants to say hi. She just wants to say hi. I don't have any cookies, baby. I know. They're in the truck. All right. Off to the cat. Okay. So as a bonus, you saw goats, <coughs> ducks, baby chicks, which how we've gotten fall baby chicks, I don't know. It's called mama's laid eggs. You just sit on the eggs. Okay, and 30 who's days supposed later, to be collecting the eggs? I didn't look in the barn for eggs. Why would there be eggs? Yeah, I know. There's a whole nest underneath the table. I have to go get rid of those, too. Yeah. Okay. So. Ask me a yes, no question. Are you going to tell me about what happened today? No. Why not? Because he said no. Okay, let me rephrase. Tell them what happened today. Yes. He says yes. What happened today? I went to the sale barn. Okay, so we had five sheep left. Correct. I've decided I'm keeping three cutie crosses this year, but I may change my mind. I had only set out to keep two, but I've decided I wanted to keep three just because I like the fleece. We'll see. Um, but... We took the last five, and that's because there was rams in there, correct? And next week, breeding season starts. So, the end of the year, um, five sheep went to the sale barn to be sold. Mm -hmm. um, we don't like doing it that way, but let's face it, sometimes you just have to. Um, then, while you were sitting there waiting for your stuff to sell, what happened? Our sheep had just sold, and they run in these little mini horses. So Dad and I sat there and watched them sell. They were cute. Yeah, but they cost a lot. And you weren't bringing them home. There's no way. So. So they sat there for a few minutes longer. And hey, we're speaking here. And Carl, have some manners. <laughs> Thank you. And we were sitting there watching the sale, and they run some baby kids in. And they started out pretty cheap, and I bid on some, because they were really cheap. And then I didn't get any bought. And then they got rid of that batch. They had like seven or eight of them there. They sold all them. Then they ran. Carl, don't you dare start that again. <laughs> Carl! He's playing with, I give him two liter pop bottles. I take the Thank labels you. off and the caps and the little plastic things, so it's just the clear part. And he loves to chew on them. All right, so they run this one other little kid. He's not really little; he's like mediocre. And they well, run. Well, we took it. We took a, a video of it, so oh, we yeah. can see how it's it's like, what size. So he he is a baby. Yes, he is a baby. But he's oh, not a baby. we took another video that we could show him too. Which one's that? The one we were first spreading home. Oh yes. We so can okay, finish. Finish telling the story first. So they start selling, and he stays cheap. So I bought him. Why did nobody want him? I don't know. I really have no idea. Let's watch the video and see. Oh, boy. What'd you get at the sale, son? This little calf. 
He's not a bottle kef. I repeat, he is not a bottle kef. He is not a bottle kef. Somebody here has a hard time hearing, and I don't think it's you guys. Do you think he's weaned? Yes, he is weaned. Did they say he was weaned? Yes, he is a kef. Eats feed, stays on his own, kef. Did they say that in the selling? He does not need a bottle. He's not a baby. Contrary to popular belief. Anybody want to speak up and say, <laughs> defend me here? I think, is it a heifer or a bull? Bull. Steer. Boy. Girl. Boy. Mixed or not? I don't know. Oh, he's got little horns. He's got little horny. You're about to have a visitor. No. Actually, they're trying to see the donkey. No, that kiss an old bottle kiss. Oh, she's... She knows what that is. Don't give it to her kid in case he's sickish. Yeah, that's true. Keep him separate. I don't think he is, but just in case. Here's your video, Mom. You video. You started it. I'm not helping. There you go. Have a cup. Get her. She's right over there, Buster. Go. Yeah, cow. Yeah. Yeah. Don't attack me. The video's still going, Mom. Back. 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 Okay, fine. I will straddle you. She's older. She may not. She may have forgot. Hi, you. I've got him. <laughs> we are going to have so much fun with him. No, he is weaned. He's going to pasture. <laughs> He's weaned. He's going to the big pasture. He's going to stay up here for a couple days, get feed in him, and he's going to the big pasture. He's not big enough to go to the big pasture. And, no, it's still there. It's a bull, huh? Yep. Alright. Alright, guys. Goodbye. Alright, next up in the barn stalls. Who's that? Um, I guess we're going to call him Rat. I don't know. <sighs> Where'd you get Rat? The cell barn. Mom sent me to the cell barn five sheep. And we brought home Rat. <laughs> yep, the last of the sheep, all the fiber people that wanted had gotten, correct? Yep. We had five babies that ended up having to go to the sale barn. So, um, yeah. and RJ, why did they have to go this week? Because we're starting breeding season and there was a couple of rams left. Yep, there was a couple of rams left and it's breeding season and I don't have a place to pin them off. So, breeding season starts and uh, we've already got the goats breeding. And he's playing with him. RJ, where's Bidet's calf? She hadn't had one yet. Is she pregnant? We hope so. But she may not be. But I think she is. Yup. Two bullheaded bulls in a standoff. Him's okay. Not bad for a trade-off. Five sheep Probably for that. Bad. All right, so we're down to the original flock out here, um, and Bidet hasn't day. had her calf, but RJ, have you even considered who's breeding who, or are we not discussing that right now? Not yet. Next week. Okay, so <laughs> this coming up week, he plans on getting it all lined out, but this is the last sale before breeding season starts, so it is what it is, right? Okay, so we all know RJ's a sucker for a bottle baby. I did not buy a bottle baby. He is big enough to be <laughs> on feed. <laughs> but you bought a bottle baby. I did not. He was not drinking a bottle when I bought it. He was eating a hat. <laughs> That's what we gave him. That's what he ate. He was fine with that. A little upset, but he was fine with that. <laughs> and then mom brought up the bottle. 
<laughs> I couldn't help it. He was crying and walking the fence line and bawling, and anybody else would have done the same thing. No. So the cookie says no. <laughs> yes, they would have. The All right. cookie says no. So that is, I think we're calling him Rat for right now. Um, RJ was actually calling him a little rat. Uh, but anyway. Hey, Carl, get down off my stove. Yes, the dogs are tall enough to stand flat footed. Come and here, Carl. On my stove. Come here. Um, get up here. Come on. He says I get in trouble for that. Oh, you're going to be up here. See you walk. His back feet are still on the ground, just FYI, folks. Look, <laughs> Like, this is they're what not you on this ground now. No, they're not. He's happy. This is what you get for getting on things, okay? Right. I did. Point it down. <laughs> He's sliding. Yeah. He's on the ground. Put him on your lap. Let him see He's how big. big. Put him on your lap. Too late. You started this. Ugh. He's on my lap. <laughs> okay. But he doesn't fit. Hold him up there. Show him how big. Yeah. Okay. And he's just what? Three months old? You're getting ready to go down under rapid <laughs> go, go ahead and put him down. We would do that to Wilbur. Wilbur's still shaky, so can you do it real easy? And show him. Come on, Wilbur. Up and over your brother. All right. Now, Wilbur's actually smaller because Carl ah, didn't get as sick. Quit. That's enough sick. I'm um, slobbering on your head. Now you're slobbering on me. So he is not as big. But that's okay because he'll he'll gain now that he's healthy. Um, but you can still see he's just a little bobbly, but he's he's definitely much better. So, um, okay. So where were we before the dogs interrupted us? Rat. Oh, rat. So RJ was calling him a little rat. The day let's go on because in that clip there's also some about the sheep and what he was doing at cell barn, and Bidet has not had her calf yet. I thought we already cut um, that stuff. In. Oh no, we cut the video in the bottle. We cut the bottle baby video in and we kind of touched on it. And this is what happens when you make little clips outside and you can't remember what all you said. Oh. So. We're going to cut the rest of our video in. We already did. That's oh. it. Didn't we just take the, the front with the goats because breeding season has begun? Mm -hmm. And. In the barn. Then the little baby chicks. Mm -hmm. And they got to see Cat Baloo. And then you took the Because I threw them <laughs> Yeah. Um, and then I, we took him out to the to see rat. the little rat. And then um, while we were out there, we kind of talked about the sheep and the day. And, and then we videoed that little section of me sitting on a tree. Oh, that's not come up yet. We haven't put that in yet because we're on in the barn stalls, not many fences. Oh. We did video some more, just not in the barn stalls, right? Yeah. And we even cut in, if I can find it, the little video of when we brought the little rat home. So, But by now we're telling we're talking about this. You've already seen all that. So. Yeah, it's more for us just to figure out where we're at. Okay, mending fences. Now we we're going to cut things. in some video. <laughs> There's two things we did in mending fences. And we're going to cut those both in right here right now so that ends this. <laughs> what are they about, though? One is about... Okay, mending. cut. So we can make. We oh, keep there's our bacon three things. Warm. There's three things in. Oh, we gotta keep our bacon warm this winter. We have to warm the bacon in the winter. The tree. Yeah. And then the fence line. Yeah. Okay, so those three clips are gonna appear right here. Bam, Ever bam, bam. All right, mending fences. A little outside time too, right? What are you sitting on, dude? A tree. A tree. This is free a tree. A dead tree. It's a free tree. It was kind of short though, so you're like, you're this tall. Uh huh. Okay, so where'd it come from? What's the, the plan? The lumber this yard? The arrow from the pig shed. Yep. And then this was donated to us to do odds and ends with because it was just scrap. Yep, they cut some boards and they had all these little, um, some of them are a little bit wider. RJ, you gotta get up, kid. Some of them are that wide and mm -hmm. some of them are that wide. So, but they're all pretty good length correct yep, yep. so we can make a cast out of it and, cut it off and cast well it. we're actually going to use that around the bottom of the frame if i have my way we'll see what all is going to happen so i don't know what we're talking about 
Um, hopefully the, the bottom of the greenhouse. So, because you don't need Let's light go in back there. in here now. We have baby chips to show. Okay. Hello, Wilbur. All right. This is another part of what? Mending fences? Yeah. Okay. Mom yep. Um, these are the pins that uh, we use for birthing or lambing. And the goats keep jumping over this. So in order to fix them, we're going to start storing them up across here. And then we will have them kept inside. Miss Layton always tries to get out. And she is in there to stay. Right? All right. And we fix fence on this side. And then we fix fence. And I say we. I did it all by myself. Um, they were gone to the sale. And then I fixed over there. There's an opening. Um, a double. Well, somebody had to go get rat. There's you a double gate, you. correct? And if you look, Wilbur, there's Wilbur. Carl's over here. Wilbur. RJ, stand up so they can see how big they're really getting. Us holding them in front of the camera really isn't. Wilbur, come here. You guys are knee high. Let's see. Carl's a little bit bigger now, but and you can see Wilbur's a little wobbly. Ooh, Ooh cat fight! No, oh, sorry. But, yep. RJ Love on Wilbur. Well, look at that, gotcha. Yep. Carl. <laughs> but, as you can tell, those two are pretty big and active, and they're seeing the goats. And at some point, we're going to have them out here, aren't we? Yep. Right now, we're just a little protective, aren't we? All right. Back to the podcast. Bye bye. Okay, I see. All right, so RJ, in mending fences, we have one other thing that went on this week. What is it? We built a piggy shed. Hey, hey she's in there asleep. She's Buttercup, asleep no she's more. not asleep no more. Okay. So, she's, but it's big enough and it gives them both room, right? Even when they're... how to do this. Yeah, we just got to get some longer nails because I'm not taking down pipe fence and all that stuff. We'll just run it up there and... And uh, put some longer screws in it, right? It's solid. It is. Now, what did you actually um, buy to, to do this? Just this wood, like this wood here. The two by fours and the, the one by fours. fours. The one by four. So pretty much the post we had. So the top frame, the bottom frame, and then the three little slats that go across, huh? Uh huh. So all right, piggy shed from. <laughs> leftovers from many other projects piggy wiggies. and the piggy wiggies like it except rj what have you still not done <laughs> their grass is dying in there what have you still not done oh, I haven't put more hay in there. yeah they're kind of mad you can tell see they need hay in there so i'll make him bring it i know she wants hay she says i want hay all right hey miss Fraggy, you're here Away. Yeah. What's your name again? No, no, I don't know. What Charlotte. Oh yeah, Charlotte. That's your name. From Charlotte's Web. Yeah. I always forget. Well, it was actually Wilbur was the pig and Charlotte was the spider, but anyway, Buttercup and Charlotte. Uh. All right. Now, let's go finish this podcast. Okay. So, anything else in the mini fences? That's it. We're over. Okay, so we've covered in the barn stalls, many fences in the chapel. Ceiling. We are not. Get your butt down here. Okay. Um, in the yarn farm. What's been going on in the yarn farm? Did we talk about the fair? No, that was last week. So in the yarn farm, we had some yak spun and put in the fair. Uh, the farm did the petting zoo, right? Yeah. Okay, what else did the farm do? And the yarn farm is all about the farm. Uh, what else did the farm do? We had some tatters come through, right? And that's in the field. Um, this is the business stuff. What did we, you know, people that come to visit. Um, we put a box of popsicles on our expenses. We did not put them on our expenses. You just bought them and ate them. I bought them. He ate them. 
Um, winter Wolf Fest is coming up, and it's in January. I can't remember the dates. January is a long ways away, folks. Yeah, totally it is, but yeah. somebody's got to tumble, right? It's in Wamego, Kansas, and we will be there again. And I don't know. I think I'm going to do a class on Tunisian in the round, which I'll have to get the hooks ordered for because I like to sell the hooks for whatever I teach. And, um, let's see, oh, processing a fleece with nothing but your fingers and a drop spindle. If you'll finish in the yarn farm. And the yarn farm is finished. <laughs> Thank you for watching. <laughs> We're on to our next segment. In the field. In the field. We bailed some hay. And what do we do in the garden? All that I mowed the garden. Mm -hmm. Well, Mom took down the grow tower. I what? Mom put a bench down there. That Wilbur and Carl can sit on. Oh, you're talking about the little... Um, yeah, the little tight bench. I put the little tight stuff that I got last week at the garage sale down there. I put a timeout chair. The extra chair that I got, I've decided it's going to be a little timeout chair. Um. Then we've got the slide. Yeah, we got a slide. I Slip redid, and slide. I and redid my herb container garden because I wasn't liking how one thing was taking over every container. I have basil everywhere. And, and I harvest all the leaves, trash the flowers and the stems. Because I have a ton. Right? Mm -hmm. um, cleaned out some of it. Move the dirt from the grow towers. Um, every winter we break the grow tower down. It was harvested the first of this month and it was just sitting bare. So I took that um, organic soil and put it in the container gardens and watered everything in. I'm hoping I didn't put too much into shock. The two big herbs, I moved a thing of lavender and a thing of uh, rosemary and I moved the entire root ball. So I'm hoping that it won't put them into the shop. Um, this February, I will be popping all those trees out there. Get off me. Put them in the shock. Okay, yeah. Dang. Mm-hmm. Amazing how fast he wakes up. Threaten to take his blow pop. I'll just eat it. Now I'm going to share. dead body. That can be arranged. Better up the life insurance, folks. I brought you into this world. I can take your little butt out. Not over a popsicle. Well, anyway, we'll all right. Finish a bottle of wine first. So. I'm not drinking the whole bottle. You drank over half of it. It's two glasses. I'm on my second glass. I've drank one glass. This is my second. We're half the bottle of it. She's uh, borderline alcoholic, and you know? she gets there. I mean, <laughs> I do not. I don't even drink every week. Um. So where were we? You're making me lose track. Um. Oh, the herb That's garden. The wine dog. I'm sure. No, this is wine talking. I think you've had enough. It's whining. Okay, ah, back to the stuff. What else did I do in the garden? We broke down the grow tower. I don't know, I just drove my circles. He mowed, and I redid the herb garden, correct? So yeah, I changed the the truck today. That's in the farmhouse. Um, yeah. then I, uh, had something I was going to say right on the tip of my tongue, but no, you haven't. I dedicated a bunch of flowers. Um, I'm going to raise the, the rose strawberry bed. Oh, awesome. Um, I'm going to raise the strawberry beds, but that's all in the making. It's not quite there yet, so it is what it is. Um, anything else? The wine is mm -hmm, It is. It's a very good wine. I love this wine. I introduced two or three people into this wine. And what you'll love about this wine, even better, is where I'm from. This is like an $8.90 bottle of wine. And y'all know what I'm going to do with this jar, right? I talked about it last week. Yeah. Is the wine flammable? You're not going to have to do it with wine in it. I was just curious. You just like yes, wine. wine is flammable. It's got alcohol in it. All right, so cool. moving just on. Buy just buy in it. In the fields. The What's dollars? after in the fields? Wouldn't that be cool, Mom? What's after in the fields? Wouldn't that be cool, Mom? What's after in the fields? Popsicle farm. <laughs> in the farmhouse, right? Yep. What went on this week? We bailed some hay. 
That was in the field. Gotta change the oil in the truck. There you go! Now who's drunk and who's not? What's in that popsicle? I don't know, you made them. Or you got them. I didn't make them, I just bought them. They come from a box. Alright, so, um... I think that's really... Pretty much, we're so busy doing the hay and getting it in. The house isn't really clean, clean. But we were doing the hay, we had Wilbur going on. I even moved my dentist appointment. I had no dentist appointment this week. Um, what else? I started my other little blue pot holder, but I showed you that last week. And can you go upstairs and find the little blue pot? It should be by my chair. If you remember, um, and I'll just show you. Uh, I guess this is kind of on the porch, so we're moving on into on the porch. Um, if you remember, I started with like 26 stitches on this one, and I'm using a 5 millimeter hook, and I said it looked too small. So I went ahead and got a little bit bigger hook, and these two actually match. This is a cream color with blue splashes, and this is blue, so it matches the blue splash. Um, and you can see that with the up to size, let me see if I can take this out. This is what I get for stopping in the upper row. Let's put them back to back here. You can see with the up to gauge of the needle, it's going to be bigger than that one. I don't know how much. Um, it might just be a little bit bigger. We'll see. If I don't like them, I'm going to rip them out. I really want them bigger than that, so I may have to do more stitches. And I don't even know if I did more stitches on this one, to be honest with you. But it's a little bit, it's about that much longer. So we'll see how long it gets when it goes, right? Anyway, so upping it just a little bit to see how it goes. Um, anything else? What else have I been doing? I showed in the wine bottle thing that I did last week. And this is really all I've been saying on just... Wilbur took a lot of time, plus I've been working. You can, have you been riding horses? You've been working for other people, haven't you? Mm -hmm. um, on my day off, I actually had to take and go take a gentleman to town. His truck broke down and he didn't have any groceries left. So I took him on a grocery run and to get parts. Um, the battery for his welder Sister. and something else. Yeah, and then my daughter wanted a horse, and so RJ's tour was finding one that wasn't going to kill her and cross her an arm and a leg. <laughs> She is not experienced. Um, we didn't move to the country until she was almost graduating high school. So she's not an experienced horseman. Um, she was social butterfly, cheerleader. We love her. She's just a city girl. It is what it is. She went to public school. RJ was homeschooled, stayed home, lived the country life. And my two children are very, very different. Correct? Um, I got a haircut. Don't know if you can tell, but it took off about an inch. It only goes down to there now. Somebody can tell you took off an inch of your hair. Send them on metal, because I couldn't tell. I like <laughs> well, my bangs, look, they're not down in my eyes. So they're, they're... Mm -hmm. Doesn't it look? Look, I got a pop shade on. You need a haircut, though. You told me I couldn't get one no, cut. No, he cannot get it cut today or tomorrow. Um, the 21st, 22nd, 23rd are the days according to the arm almanac that you cut your hair for growth. And yes, I cut my hair for growth every month. There's always a few days in the almanac telling you when. So, I just do. I have no idea if it makes it thicker. I do know that people have told me that they love my hair. It's thick. It's healthy. It's hot in the summer, but keeps you warm in the winter. <laughs> I'm preparing for winter well, folks. Look at this. Yep, even on his scruffy little face. Look at this. All the way up his side. Look there. He ain't even. Look at that. Look at that right there. See that? Them chops. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, wait, the camera crack. <laughs> okay, so. I think that's it. Our miracle for this week was Wilbur and Carl. Look, folks, um, I tried to take a selfie. This happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get it? That was stepped on by a what? Or slapped by a rope when you rope something. Or, I don't remember. Rope an accident. 
Anything else? Any last minute? Yes. That's on nights. We have to put that in the farmhouse. That's My on coconut's nights. empty, folks. I need to warm out and do. It's gotta go. Gotta go. Gotta go. Gotta go right now. No, I need to send me warm out and do. Please, do yours. I can't send Mountain Dew through the mail. It'll bust. It'll get shook up and explode. Bubble wrap. You can bubble wrap everything. Okay, but that doesn't stop the shaking. Or if it's sent on an airplane going up, pressurize and then coming back down. You're lying. It's a bunch of baloney. Really? Do your ears pop when you go up in an airplane? Yes, yes, because of the pressure change. What do you think it'll do to a carbonated beverage? I don't know, but we need to stick going on an airplane to find <laughs> out. Oh my gosh. Stick it in a carry-on bag, please, so everybody <laughs> knows what happens. No, let's not. Yeah, let's do it. Actually, with it pressurized, if it's in the cabin, it won't explode. If it's in the cargo bay where they don't pressurize, that's where you're going to have trouble. Oh, let's stick it down there then and see how many people we can make mad. Yeah, it will explode. You'll get in trouble. There's no sign that says you cannot take your own beverages. It doesn't say that, but you what? can't put it in your suitcase because they do it. But even if they mail it, how is somebody else going to stick it on the airplane and get it to you unless they mail it, air mail it? Oh, okay. Whatever works. And folks. according to the mail service, it. you're not allowed to mail pop. Why not? It's not on their thing. Yes, it is. On their thing, you're not allowed to mail bullets, gunpowder, batteries, bicycles. Okay. Um, Carbonated beverages, I'm sure, is on there because it's anything under pressure. Carbonated beverages under pressure. Um, aftershave is illegal to mail because it's why? got alcohol in it. Yeah. Any kind of pressurized aerosol can is normally illegal to mail because it's under pressure. Yeah, we'll have this discussion later when you grow up and understand. All right, folks. I am we're growing up. I'm calling <laughs> it. We're off of here. I will talk to y'all later. And bye-bye. Bye-bye.